Hi there, and welcome to episode 19 of my Red World gameplay series. I'm Icon, and today I hope we will maybe finish that throne room today? I'm not sure if we can, but what I am sure about is that we're going to have some good fun and take down that mech cluster. I'm just waiting for Holder to finish the smoke launcher, which will be an invaluable tool for this ordeal. And we're besides besides that we're completing here the recreation room. Hydroponics are going strong. Our food is now being supplemented by raw fungus in a very regular pace. But we won't be able to sustain our colony with these fungus farms in a realistic amount of time. We would need more than that. Griffin and the outpost. So I'm not interested in any quests that lead me outside of my base. No thanks. No thanks. Okay. Chem fuel production is also going strong. We seem to have no problems whatsoever to sustain our power production here. So I'm really happy with everything. The only thing I'm not happy with is that Hogan doesn't seem to be able to keep up with this animal training before the boomalope will lose its all its tameness. His animal skill is right now at 3.4k. He won't make it to the level necessary of level 5 in in time. Necessary level of 5. So kinda like sad about that development, but at least it's a cool way for him to train his animal skill, so. Exotic goods trader from Hilonlium. You guys don't go that way. Beaver. Don't. Okay. And the spring has begun. Alright, these guys at least are no orbital traders, that means they're going to trade with us for real. There is a donkey, god bless, we got to get that donkey. Donkeys can be trained onto advanced levels and they have a minimum handling skill of zero. This might be the rescue for the taming process of my boomalope. We can sell away the thrumble horns because Luckily, these guys buy that stuff always, and we also can finally acquire the necessary plus steel for our endeavors. I don't know if we need the advanced component as well, but I'll make sure to buy one. There we go. Nice! Really nice. The donkey is just here for training. Handling is only enabled on Hogan. Okay, wonderful. Just wanted to make sure that nothing bad will happen here. Also, we're now able to build ourselves a multi-analyzer here. Didn't need the advanced component though, but whatever. The advanced component will come to a good use sooner or later. The only question I have now is, do I actually have the necessary power? Are you kidding me? There's another exotic goods trader from Hilonlium. Oh, Randy. Oh, Randy, you're such a joker. <laughs> so they're selling yet another donkey. But... Arcotech gas mask. Ooh. Cool stuff. Psy trainer, word of love, berserk pulse. Oh man, too bad that they don't have more money, but whatever. Two exotic goods traders on top of each other like that. Oh, Randy. Such whimsical exploits. Alright, now since we are in desperate lack of marble for our throne room, let's keep shaping the tunnels here more and more. It's more of a uh, because I can thing, but you know, why not? At least we acquire chunks this way. Alright. I'm, I'm quite tempted to uh, abuse my trading spot mod, but I won't. 
All right, luckily the multi-analyzer only needs 200 watt. So now we're going to turn off the electric crem crematorium because I don't feel like we all, we permanently need that. Jump packs, awesome. Now off to really important things, prosthetics. That sounds like a really good thing too. And we can now also research fabrication next. Mm, nice. Research is flowing really good as, at this point as well. Really happy about that. So for the first time ever in my colony, we are low on meat, but not on vegetables. So we're really making progress here. Also, we're going, we're doing great progress with the animal training. Glow stool has died because of exposure to light. Is it because of the, ah, I guess the standing lamp is killing them. I guess that's what's happening there. Yeah, that must be the reason. So, let's do a little bit of a work hunt here. There we go. Easy. So much food at this point. Ah, uh, not food. Leather. So we're going to make ourselves some really nice stuff. Hazard suits. They need silver. Okay. So we're now going to do some corsets, some formal vests, some formal shirts, some ladies' hats. Some top hats, some berets. Can we do these out of all the leathers? Yes. Good. And patch leather can go. We lack pants. Let's make pants. Pants are really important. More important than most things. Here we go. Just want to make sure that we're going to acquire new cool pieces of clothing for us. I mean, I got so much bear leather and uh, wolf leather here. Would be a shame to not utilize these insane stockpiles of materials here. And after all, we might get lucky and get a bulk goods trader in here one day. And then we'd be able to grow really filthy rich. All right. There we go. Light leather is on a pretty decent uh, amount as well, but well. Oh yeah, there's one, one more thing. Electric tailor bench. I really want one of those. We're going to make it wooden here because, you know, can't afford it. Wood is not that much of an issue anymore. We got the grove here, and that's all it takes. Minyoka. Holder has created a masterwork smoke launcher. Smoky Wasp. Engraved with an artwork of four bell peppers. The work is shaded in hues of green and blue. If you squint your eyes, the horizontal composition of the image reveals the outline of a pond. Alright, a pond. Very important to mention the pond. So, well, this is a rather uncomfortable spot to spawn a mechanoid cluster on me because there's this is uh, wild animals uh, land, and if I just go outside there, it might be that the wild animals start hunting my colonists. So. Hmm, that's a difficult one. So how's the work been going here? 11 chunks in here, 32 more. F oh my God. Before this is done, I will have, 
I will have a whole basketball field here. Or, I don't know. What's a good uh, comparison, but you know what, you know what I want to say. Wide holds will be carved out until before this is over. So, Hilonlium visitors. Hooray, prostatics! Let's go for fabrications next. So, Hogan is getting closer to an animal skill of 5. Awesome. Finally. Very happy that we got the chance to adopt a donkey. Ironically, I'm going to slaughter it as soon as I'm done with training Hogan, but, you know. What can I say? What can I do? Oh, Minyoka is finally no longer crazy. Wall and Fleeby were socially fighting. Why? Fleeby called Wally a squid. Okay, Fleeby. That's making you freak out so hard. The squid has bitten him into the arm. True story. Okay. So I'd say we'll make it like that. I like the idea. I really like the idea. Then we'll have to build the barricade right here instead, of course, but I really like that. Yeah, that ward's gone in a second, too. A Manhunter pack. Snow bunnies. Oh, come on. Get real here. 26 snow hares coming to get us. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, we'll have to take it seriously, I guess. So the people with the single target weapons will stand in front, or well, no, never mind. I'll have to funnel this differently, so it's already way too many to, uh, to do it like that. Yo, Alberts, you're supposed to block these. So, I had no clue that these bunnies are able to slip through these situations like that. So, we're going to fall back to this spot and, uh, well, the most important part is that we don't uh, let ourselves get swarmed cheaply. And bottlenecks like these are quite effective for that. Walberts is a pretty uh, bad spot, but... Okay. Deadly Assault of Snow Bunnies. So, Albert's HP don't look good. She's down by now. Alright. Six hours to live. Sometimes I feel like the deadliness of uh, small animals is h highly over-exaggerated in this game. Like, as if getting attacked by a couple of bunnies would give you such... Well, whatever. We're going to rescue. We should have a higher infection chance. Well, whatever. This is a very, very uh, difficult situation here. Because we really... I just find it so stupid that these are the situations where I whip out my, my Glitter World meds. Like... 
Not when you're fighting something epic like thrombos or or mechanoids. No, that's the uh, it's the brutal assault of a of tw of two dozens of uh, snow bunnies letting you use your glitter world meds. True story. And there's a transport pod crash and it's Holder's ex-husband. Well, Austin, are you a good handler? Yes, you are. And you're also a psychopath. So, my good man, I'll leave it up to you if you might want to stay with us or not. All right, Albert's is safe. Let's... Uh, Set the medication orders back to a normal thing. And let's see, nobody's bleeding to death here anymore. Good. We're low on food at this point though. What a tragedy. I don't have enough power to let the, these all run at once. So we're going to build another generator here at this point. I think it's time. We got so many sources of chem fuel at this point that I really don't feel like I need to be careful with it anymore. Oh, we're lacking components to build that generator. Not cool. All right. Let's do this first. This is really important for me. No, 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 my man. You are ought to haul these things back home. Okay, so that means we are now running really low on components in general because I can't remember where the last couple of them were. But I think there were no more spaceship chunks and not too many visible underground deposits but I think in general this map should yield tons and tons of uh, more of underground deposits here Austin joins all right so holders ex-wife is holder actually well uh, ex-husband well let's hope you you know how to behave Austin but I really like the fact that we have a top-notch handler now. I've had so many occasions where I had self-tamed animals here and sending them away, away like that was always a, quite a pain to me. So now we got somebody to do the special butchery. Austin. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm not going to let Austin sit on that high priority for cooking. I'll have a, I'll let him do this manually. Alrighty. So, by the way, we could send him chopping up those bunnies. It's a good training for his uh, cooking skill. Oh no, he's hiding in his room. I mean, hiding in his room is relative here, and Albert's is on days. Okay. Whatever. Speaking about which, yeah, okay, I can't give them guns at, at this point. They're too crazy for guns. Okay. But at least all the animals will now get a proper training at this point. I really needed a, a another handler here and a, another days. So three of seven uh, of seven people are now suffering from from a mental breakdown. It's quite comical. So well, we could actually sw uh, switch over to fine meals at this point if I wanted to. <laughs> Should consider it. Looking at all these mental breakdowns lately. So fine meals, cook fine meal. 
Austin got his act together again. Wonderful. So we're going to cook fine meals here. Why not? Okay. Wonderful. We're only lacking 20 more tiles. Gosh, it's so annoying. Fine tiles are such a pain. You need so friggin' many blocks. Every time I went for one of these projects, uh, at the end I was uh, growing crazy. And this time is not a difference. There's not a difference, I wanted to say. Okay. Let's do this like that. And I also want to put up a art bench at this point. We can easily afford us uh, afford that. All right. So as soon as everybody is healed up, we're going to take a smack down on the mechanoid cluster there. But the bunny attack was quite hard. Okay, so let's see, how many chunks do we have? 11 versus 18 more fine marble tiles. Okay, Psychic Soothe, that's good. Are these uh, mushrooms not configured for cooking or what's the matter? They are. Ah, but my main cook is... Uh, bonkers right now. I see, that's what's happening. Well, ah, here we go. Alberts is back to normal. So, somebody clean the kitchen for her before she poisons us all. Okay. So I'll let Alberts do a night shift today. She was uh, too busy with being crazy, so somebody has to do the dirty work here. All right, fine meals, awesome. The good thing about fine meals is they don't really cost you more than normal meals. They have the same ingredient amount, but just uh, the added benefit of making people happy. And the funny thing is when you put insect meat into a fine meal you have the debuff here minus three but you have more bonus than debuff from the fine meal itself so some might call it an acquired taste okay now we're going to mine out these Take out those. All right, random geometrical shapes, random rectangles, because we can. We're low on food again. Why? So it looks like we need to do it a uh, sweep out here. But talking about sweep out, Austin, you are. You might be a little bit wounded, but that doesn't matter you're going to equip that masterwork of a smoke launcher and then we're going to drive out the mechanoids out of our tunnels today once and for all all right austin is a tad bit slow how much uh slowdown does he have 64 it's not on the major brick risk. Minyoka is. Why? Hungry? No. Rebuffed by Holder. Oh, yeah, okay. Alberts is not with us in this one. So we're going to take the uh, sneak approach again. Only move in smoke. Wait a sec. Let's go down here. All right, we'll have to take down the Scyther, though, so we got to be careful. Mm 
All right. Luckily, Hogan can stun that thing for us. So. The smoke is uh, not good for us at this point, but well. All right, Vala can treat to himself here. And now Austin moves closer. And now we're going to take down the, the actual cluster. Mm, all right, that's a good one. Already uh, exploding the first turret. All right. Let's move Austin accordingly. All righty, there we go. Sadly, we did destroy the gloom light here. It's a little bit of a loss, because it would have been cool to keep that, but... Let's keep Vala here. Alright. Are we now really unable to take down a couple of turrets just like that? Okay, let's hope the explosion radius is not stupid. Okay, Holder needs treatment. Mini slugger turrets, okay. So for some reason... The turret was hitting Holder. Okay. Alright, we got it. That's good. So, well, I don't like how we let Walla fall back here, but pretty sure everything will be fine yeah he's angry now I, I can't understand that nobody did help you nobody did carry you back home and the Hilan Liam people are now sending a bulk goods trader awesome I was talking about bulk goods traders either this episode or an episode ago about giving us lots of money for our clothing and stuff so let's see, they have more donkeys for sale. Is that a thing here, bringing donkeys for sale? I don't know. Nutra means components. Well, first off, let's see what we can sell to these folks and how much money they will owe us at the end. So it doesn't seem like we have these insane riches. There's a jump pack, but that's not that important. Steel. Usually I buy all the steel that I can get my hands on, but this here is something different. Steel is not that rare in such an environment right now. So I want those components. And the advanced component as well. We're going to sell away the Raider leather, because I want the money as well. And also I'm going to sell away the light leather because that's also not too important, valuable or desirable. Okay, now that's all I want to do. Sadly, they're not selling any mo uh, any medicine or so stuff like that. The neutral means would be pretty interesting too, but we don't even have a, a laboratory, uh, a drug lab yet, so doesn't matter. All right. Ball is finished smashing things in his room. I mean, there's not much to smash there. Just a couple of marble and steel uh, furniture pieces. So have fun smashing those. Okay. So we're only 13 now. 13 slabs away from finishing the throne room. Well, it might be actually enough to dig these out. So we're low on food, I heard. Dear Warg, you shouldn't stay near while while we are low on food. Also, all birds, where is your weapon? Ah, she had that uh, revolver, I remember. Oh, there's even two Wargs. 
Oh. Yeah, Austin, you're uh, you're not helping by putting the work into a smoke screen. Stop that. Thank you. So all birds camp afterwards. Hunt that thing. Ah, she can't because she has not equipped the gun yet. Oh, come on, you warg. You do want to end in our stew. You don't know it yet. Okay, here we go. So, meat's back on the table. Well, we still need the the meat to stabilize the food output of the colony, but the hydroponics do add a lot of sustenance into the colony already. I mean, it could be more, of course. But I feel like at least, uh, at least just the, or no, only the option of having fine meals alone is already worth a lot, I'd say. Okay, friends, so that's that for this episode. Thank you so much for watching yet again. It was my pleasure, and I hope you guys had some fun too. Feel free to drop me your comments down below and leave a thumbs up on that video to make it more visible towards the almighty algorithm. Also, check out my channel if you haven't done so already. There's a ton of related videos like these, so if you like that, you might want to know uh, you might want to subscribe and turn on those notifications. And also check out the description down there. You'll find there my Twitch channel where I do daily streams, so if you might want to get in touch, I'd be more than happy. Also, last but not least, there's also ways and means for financial support in the description down there. So every tip and every helping hand would be so much appreciated. I really can't find proper words for that. But the biggest support is always watching these videos. And for that, I'm super grateful. Catch you guys next time. Bye bye.